My time with God. You guys better go get it right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. That's what I am. <laughs> I, so seriously, is what I have to say. Gotta talk. But, gotta work out also. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. People gonna make some oats, oats, oats. Here I have oats. Y'all know what today is. I already started eating. I was too hungry. And be glad in it. Come on, wherever you are, would you give King Jesus just the best praise that you got? God, we still bless you. We still say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. We are in quarantine and um we, I know to say it too, but uh, uh, it's so sad. I want to go out. I want to to meet my friends. I want to do to do a lot of things. I told my come to Martina. Wh why don't you go outside and sing? <laughs> No, all my ear uh, near home. How can I say? The people near you. Yeah. Your neighbors. Yes. Yes, they sing. And why don't you sing? <laughs> you know you love to sing. Because I will save my voice just for a few people. For me. <laughs> yes, for you. Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> and I'm making dinner. Yeah, I've, I've forgot to record all day, but that's okay. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm making for dinner. Hey girl, what's up video? That's real take up thing, you know? Right, so we find any way to load and ship with the job, right? <laughs> 
hair. Some, oh, there it goes. Got my camera. So this is potato, curry potato, and this is the water I'm boiling right now. I'm gonna put some rice in this. I'm gonna make curry potato and rice. So guys, here you have it. This is my dinner, curry potato and rice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me give you guys a look at it from all angles. So, gonna eat. Mm. So, I need to do laundry today. So this is what I'm doing. This is my life. Right now in quarantine, doing laundry. Yeah, because I want to smell good. I hope that's everything. You ever did laundry <laughs> and when you make one walk around your room, you're like, shit, I forgot to put this to wash. I hope that would happen to me today. Hi guys. So I just came off an interview with the Trinidad and Tobago media. And you know, my family, everybody was looking at it because I said, guys, I'm going to be in the media. You can see me and understand what I'm going through here a lot, a lot more. And while I did that interview, I was like, okay, bye, whatever. And my family called me. And I'm going to show you why they called me because you're going to see what I have to deal with. Everything. Lava, don't cry. <laughs> okay, don't cry. Auntie coming home, just Auntie is safe. Look at Auntie. You want, look, look. Look at Auntie here. Okay, don't cry. She's safe, my friend. Nothing happened to her. She's okay. No. Yeah, she's good. That's why these people are like, oh, Auntie, hey. Look at Auntie. Look at Auntie. Look at Auntie. Watch, watch. Auntie loves you. Look, Auntie here. Come and give Auntie a kiss. Look. Look, Auntie here. Watch. This is Auntie. Watch. Auntie's going to come home very soon, okay? Remember to remember to say your prayers, okay? You just keep saying your prayers and Auntie will come home safe and sound. Okay? My lover, Auntie loves you very much. Papa Auntie is okay. And we know God will bring Auntie out of this. Okay? We have to trust in the Lord. You remember, you remember that? You remember that God can do anything? Yeah, we, okay, calm down, calm down. Oh my gosh. All the snacks finished from the supermarket. Oh my god, I don't believe this. I don't believe I this. I put on. I put on back on and buy some. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Some, I need to tell somebody, do more shopping because Shania, Shakaya bought all the snacks in the supermarket. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shakaya, I'm not seeing it. Lava, I'm not seeing your face. Right, sing now. I love my auntie. She's very special. I love my auntie. She's kind of everywhere. I love my auntie. It's very serious to me here, being out here in Italy, because this not only affects me, it affects the world. And to see my niece traumatized like this, because she knows the virus, she knows it's bad. And she is only four years old. She knows this is bad and it can hurt people. And she's so upset and distraught that I am here. And she doesn't think that, she doesn't understand, you know, that I am safe right now, you know? I have to be there with her. And, you know, it gets me a little upset right now that people are not listening to the warnings that are being said stay inside stay indoors because 
This is hurting me to see her like this. To know that somebody right now is not taking this seriously because they can't stay inside and they can't stay put. This is not about you as a person. It's about everybody. It's, a, it's about all of us doing our part for each other. This is, this is how we help each other. We have to make ourselves un, uncomfortable. Or yes, we have to make ourselves uncomfortable for the greater good of the world. You know, we have to make sacrifices. And for the people that are running around right now, out there who don't care, because they need to walk, they need air, they need to breathe. You guys need to see and what you guys are doing because this is how the virus is spread from human to human and you being outside. Social distancing. So I'm just a little upset right now because of how I saw my niece and how she is and what she's going through. And I ask you guys, please, please stay indoors. Relax yourself, get a movie, get a book. Do something. There's always something you can do inside. Trust in the Lord. Get the Bible. You know, and please practice social distancing. Stay inside, please. Love you, bless, and see you on my next vlog.